गाइस वेलकम टू पेप कॉय सपोज द बॉल नेम्ड ए इज एट अ हाइट एच फ्रॉम द ओल्ड सरफेस नो सपोज दिस बॉल इज ड्रॉप विद जीरो इनिशियल वेलोसिटी नो सपोज अनदर बॉल बी एट द टॉप ऑफ द बिल्डिंग ऑफ हाइट एच दिस बॉल इज थ्रोन विद सम इनिशियल वेलोसिटी यू पैरेलल टू द ओल्ड सरफेस एंड दिस बॉल फॉलोस दिस ट्रैजेक्टरी ऑफ मोशन So the question I'm interested in asking is: If the ball A is dropped and the ball B is thrown at the same time, which one of these will touch the Earth's surface first? If you think you can solve this question, pause the video and try it yourself. And don't forget to mention your answer in the comment section below. Now let us try to solve this riddle using physics. Let T1 and T2 be the time taken by the ball A. and ball b to touch the o surface respectively now in this case the initial velocity of the ball a is zero now to calculate t1 we will use equation of motion we can equate the displacement of a motion with initial velocity into time taken plus half times acceleration into time squared we can eliminate this term uh, so the displacement which is h in this case will be equal to half times acceleration into time squared now uh, so in this case the acceleration is equal to acceleration due to gravity which is small g and the time taken is t1 so we can calculate the value of t1 which will be equal to under root 2h by g now considering the motion of ball b we can break the motion of ball b in two mutually perpendicular direction namely parallel to the earth surface and perpendicular to the earth surface in downward direction so in the downward direction the ball b has no initial velocity so the motion of ball b in downward direction will only be governed by acceleration due to gravity small g so we can again write the equation of motion h equals half acceleration into time squared so you can clearly see that the value of t2 will be equal to under root 2h by g which is equal to which is surprisingly equal to t1 so ball a and ball b will touch the o surface at the same time i know this answer looks counterintuitive uh, but you can clearly see that the motion of both the balls are same in downward direction they both have zero initial velocity in downward direction and has the same acceleration in downward direction as far as the initial velocity of ball b in direction parallel to the o surface is concerned it will just provide the kinetic energy to ball b to travel the distance parallel to the o surface so thanks for watching this video i hope you like this video and if you did make sure you subscribe my channel and till next time goodbye